taking a breath for our country, but more importantly, taking a breath for George. Also yesterday, the county medical examiner released its updated findings, ruling that Floyd's death was a homicide. The report states Floyd died from cardiac arrest while being restrained by law enforcement. But it also points to hypertension and fentanyl intoxication, along with recent methamphetamine use as contributing factors. No justice, no peace. Meanwhile, protests in St. Paul reached the steps of the governor's mansion yesterday. Roughly 2,000 people calling for the arrest of the three other officers involved in Floyd's death. For more than a half hour, Governor Tim Wall stood and listened. There will be a memorial service for George Floyd later on this week on Thursday here in Minneapolis and then a funeral service next week in his hometown of Houston. Anthony. Jeff Begays, thank you, Jeff. Ahead we go behind the scenes with New York City's top uniformed police officer. How he's trying to keep the peace on the streets while responding to criticism of his department's use of force. But first it is 718. Time to check your local weather.